You know, there is a very nice book, the children's book, that is called The Way Things Work. Does all, any of your teachers know about that book? This book uses uh, retired. Uh, this book uses like a cartoons, diagrams, and simple explanations for the things, how the things work. Um, for the children, they explain how the light bulb is working. Uh, how the magnetics or the even computers that they explain the things very easily so that children can learn and how those things work so that they can use it to further their lives. It's nice to know the things, right? How everything is working in our lives and especially the computers. Some of you are probably scared of using <coughs> computers. But if when you have to write a kind of report, I know one person writing a report by handwriting because she's scared to use <laughs> computers. And if you use computers writing a report, it gives you <coughs> freedom to cut and paste, reorganize your thoughts, rearrange your sentences, and etc., etc. It, when it works, it just do wonderful things for you, <coughs> enhance your work, enhance your life. Likewise, we need to know how does our faith work in order that our faith can further enhance our lives. How does our faith work in our lives? The simple answer would be like you keep following the Lord's commandments, keep doing traditions, Keep on working at it. That may be true to some sense, but it's not the answer. You see, the answer is having relationship with Almighty God. That's how that those rules and regulations the traditions help us to keep on developing great relationship. That's how what makes a difference in our lives. That's how we can further our lives with our faith. You know, without having relationship with Almighty God, it's like an anfang without an. Yeah? And spam must be without spam. <clears throat> That's what Apostle Paul is telling the first uh, in First Corinthians, telling those first Christians, early Christians in Corinth, they were like a Jewish Christians. They tried to put more emphasis on the keeping the Jewish laws and regulations and religion to live Christian life, to further their life. And then there were a Greek Christians and they tried to focus on Greek philosophy. That's how it's going to make your life better, enhance your life, and that's how our faith is going to work. And there are some people who believe the secret wisdom that will enhance, that will make your life, make a difference in your life. That's how Christian faith works. The Apostle Paul says, that's not it. 
the thing that will make us to reach our optimal potential, to make us to live life in big differences, is having relationship with Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And he says the wisdom of God who created heaven and earth, that makes a difference. Who operates whole universe, the mind of Christ in the Word of God, the Word became what? Flesh, the Word among us. Having the relationship with those things, the Word of God, the wisdom of God, the mind of Jesus Christ, will make a difference in our lives. And the Holy Spirit has big role in that process. Holy Spirit speaks to us the wisdom of God, the mind of Jesus, but do we hear Him very well or not? If we do hear the Holy Spirit very, very well, what would be the evidence in our lives? So let's ponder upon having those questions in our mind. I've come up with a three A's, triple A's. Ask, attend, and act. Ask, attend, and act. I'm going to ask you. <laughs> In order for us to hear the Holy Spirit very well, we forgot to do three A's, and so that we can develop ongoing relationship with Almighty God, that makes a difference, big difference in our lives. Amen? And the first was what? Ask. Huh? Ask. Ask what? No brainer, right? Ask the Holy Spirit to search our hearts so that we can be cleansed, we can hear Him very well, we can be filled with Holy Spirit. So ask to be filled. In order for us to be filled, we have to let everything in our heart be Cleanse, right? Look at verse 9. It says, No eye has heard, no ear has. Uh, no, oh, no. <laughs> oh, you, you should have corrected me. <laughs> no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has conceived. What? What God has prepared for those who love Him. What a wonderful promise. Do you love God? Yes. And have you experienced this wonderful promise, miracles of God? Yes. And no? What if I ask you, teach you every day? Do you experience miracles of God? Some yes, some no, some have no clue. Why is that? You know, Billy Graham said, according to his research, 90% of uh, American Christians are living life of uh, defeated, pessimistic, and grumbling. They are not living spirit-filled life. They are defeated. Why is that? Because 
two big reasons we talked about this not too long ago is unconfessed sins in our lives and self-sufficiency. <coughs> I am all powerful. I can do my own. Take care of it. Right? Unconfessed sin, what does it do? It's like a dirt in our spiritual carburetor. It doesn't work very well. That's why the Holy Spirit, one of the ministries, the Holy Spirit, three ministries the Holy Spirit does is what? Convict us of our sins. And convict us, convince us, what? Our needs for forgiveness and conveys to us the truth and convoys us. Guide us. That's the Holy Spirit does. So we ask the Holy Spirit to convict us so that we can release the dirt in our spiritual power. And also we ask the Holy Spirit help us to be humble. You know, sometimes the Holy Spirit convicts us, we know that we need to go say, I'm sorry, right? We need to come near before the Lord. But we are so stubborn sometimes. We disobey and we like to keep the hurt. As long as we can, we could. We sometimes, we love that feeling. Well, I am mad at you. I want you to know. We want to revenge through our actions and attitudes and all. Hey, someone who hurts you, they forget. They moved on. The only thing when you do, when we do, is hurting ourselves. Blocking the blessings from the Lord God. But we often do this. We often call upon the Lord God just on the emergency basis. 911 service. You know, in the 60s and 70s, there were um, famous comedians. I think they still have reruns on TV and this and that. Um, the comedian, a team of comedians, uh, husband and wife team, um, George Burns and Gracie Allen. <laughs> See? And Gracie is very smart lady, right? In real life. But she plays a part of this naive kind of of the world personality. And one of the programs, and she was fed up and so upset with her electric clock that she bought, and it kept losing time. So she called the repair person, and the repair person came to her house, and he was diagnosed right away, and he said, you need to plug this in. <laughs> and she says, I know, but I don't want to waste the electricity, so I plug in when I need to know what time it is. Okay, all those who laugh. <laughs> that sounds very silly, isn't it? But we do that. We do that. Holy Spirit is available, like the electricity is available in our homes and our houses, everywhere we go. But we only plug in. Only on emergencies. Our God wants us to plug in, to connect with Him all the time and every time. How can we do that? We ask the Lord, the Holy Spirit, fill us with 